started? Yeah, yeah, you're on. It's fine, it's fine. This is sort of this happened here. Okay, we're talking about working crowd. That was hilarious, Leo. Work up. And power. The first thing that we always address when we're talking about work and power is that we're talking today about the um, physics definition of work. This is different, or at least it's not exactly the same as how we use work in our daily life. So when we're talking in our daily life about work, we're, we're meaning, I went to work. This is my job. I'm working here, ostensibly. Um, you might work at Arby someday. You very well may work at Arby someday. And that work, and that work is different from physics work. In physics, there's a very specific definition of work that we need to talk about because so the first thing you need to do is tease apart those two things in your brain because they are not the same. Your book will say, or yeah, when you do your chapter review, your book will say, or when you do the test, the test will say something like, is work being done? And your first little gut instinct is going to be, yeah, I mean, this sounds like work to me. I don't want to pick up an old lady and haul her across the street or whatever. But that, the thought, that doesn't necessarily mean that physical work is being done. Work is something different in our daily usage than in physics. Okay, so first, write that down. Not the same, not the same as in our daily usage. I should probably put not necessarily the same. Because sometimes there, there is overlap. In fact, many times, like, if you're, if you're hoisting hay bales, you're doing both physical from physics work and you know, some kind of like a, how I would say maybe socio-emotional or, or social work. Like you're, you're working for society also. That's kind of what we use the word to mean in two different ways. In fact, if you look it up in a, in a good dictionary, I don't know if Webster's would say this, but if you look it up in like the Oxford English Dictionary, it'll probably one of the uh, definitions, maybe definition of three or four, will say in physics, the quantity defined by, and we're going to talk about that in a second, but it's not necessarily the same. Like I said, hoisting a hay, hay bale onto a hay bale truck that is both physics work and daily work, daily usage work. But making an RV sandwich probably is not, or at least not entirely. Okay, so what is then, if it's not the same as in our daily usage, what is it? Well, we already know the equation because of our lab. What is the equation that we use? W equals force times distance. Yeah. So we usually just put it like this. This is how your book expresses it. Um, we do need to be careful because we're talking about one thing, and it is, it is. There's something besides the difference between our definition and the physics definition. There's something besides that that we need to be careful of. Work. Well, first of all, what's what do we measure force in? Um, Newtons. Newtons. We measure force in newtons. So W is work. We already talked about that. We're going to talk about what's measured in a second. F is force measured in newtons. What do we know about force besides just that it's measured in newtons? What is it's it? The same as push and pull. Push and pull, and and what I'm trying to get at here is uh, like acceleration and velocity, force has what that we need to be careful of? Direction. Direction. Thank you, Cyrus. I'm, I'm worried that you wouldn't get that right away, and you did. Not you specifically, Cyrus. I was worried that y'all wouldn't get that right away, and you did, Cyrus. Thank you. Um, and this has direction, so let's make sure that we know that this has direction with it. And the, the way we can tell if a quantity has direction is, is there a physical difference if I apply a force one direction or the other? And there is. Is there a physical difference if something has a velocity in one direction or the other? Yes. But mass doesn't have a direction. That doesn't make any sense for us to have a mass left. That doesn't mean anything. Um, and then lowercase d is distance. distance which also, if you remember from lesson two, has a direction. So this also has a direction. And so then, the work itself has a direction. And here's the thing we need to be careful of. Put this in bold or underlined or highlight or something. This is an extremely important thing. Work is only done when, we'll put when, I was gonna put a different word, but when force and distance are in the same direction. And here we're very, very, very quickly going to get to an example where your instinctual gut reaction is going to be, oh yeah, work is done, but it actually isn't. So I'm going to be the first example. 
Let's do it. Let's do a example. Oh, sorry. I, I got a little bit carried away before I, I went on. Um, this is we should measure in meters. Meters, lowercase m. And so then work is. Uh, I'm going to do this in a different spot because I ran out of room because I put direction there. Oh, come here, guy. Oh, look, this one's got a little friend. What? what? Oh, hey. That's come on, we're going for a ride. Okay. Um, ah, little jerk. Um, <laughs> let's let's. So this should be obviously if work is force times distance, then the unit for this is going to be newtons times meters. So that's that's easy enough. But let's break down newtons a little bit more. What was a newton? Do you remember? What was the the base quantities by which a newton is defined? Sorry. Let me ask you again. What? How did we define a newton with base units? It was a a newton is equal to. No. Well, how do we calculate newtons? How do we calculate force? Uh, F equals m a. So the newton then would be what's the mass unit times the acceleration unit? It would be a. Meters times. Okay. Meters times. Well, but the mass unit was. Uh, kilogram. I'm, I'm wondering why. Are you listening? What, what was the what did we, what are the base units that we define newtons as? Well, we had kilogram for mass yeah. times. What was the unit for acceleration? Seconds. Meters per second squared. Meters yeah. over second squared. So a newton is a kilogram meter per second squared. And if we multiply that by meters, we get kilogram meters squared per second squared. And this, you remember from the last chapter, is a what? Joule. Joule. So we measure work in joules also. We measure work in joules also. Anyway, back to our example. Let's say I'm, uh, I have my book here, which is turned to the page about work, coincidentally. And I have a book, and I put a force up on it, and the book moves a certain distance. Which way did it move? Up. up. So I put a force up, and the distance it moved was up. Were they in the same direction? That's the first thing you need to ask yourself. So here's there's a new step one in town, y'all. The new step one in town is check to see if they're in the same direction because a real just like you sometimes have an algebra, you have an answer that is um, no no solution. You ever or, yeah, or, or what's undefined. The other one? Yeah. Undefined, yeah. Um, this one can have an answer of no work done. In fact, many of them. I, I think if I remember right, about half of them on your test are no work done. So you have to be careful. That is an option for these. So in this case, though. Was work done? How do we tell? Yes. Yes, it was. How do we tell? Because force and distance were in the same direction. Now check it out. Which way is am I doing force still? Even though it's standing still, I'm still putting a force up. And if I walk across the room with the book, which way is my direction? Whatever. Yeah, this happens to be south. That's no nope, north. So am I doing work? And which way am I putting the force? Down. No, which way am I putting the force? Uh, up. Oh, yeah. I'm putting the force up, but I'm moving. North. So is work done? No. no. That's the one where it seems like we should, like your, your gut instinct is like, so if I'm, if I'm lifting a hay bale onto a truck, that is work. But if I'm holding a hay bale and walking to the pig sty, that is not, pigs don't eat hay, do they? But, yeah, sure they do, Leo. I'm not an idiot. Um, anyway, that is not work. This seems like work because if you're actually doing it, it feels like you're doing work. But work in physics is a different thing. So what is step one to doing a work problem? Check to see if they're in the same Yeah, direction. you have to check to see if they're in the same Someone write that down. I don't know why I you have it. it. Okay, good. Check to see if they're in the same direction. If they are in the same direction, then you move on to the actual map. And if they're not, then you write no work done. How do you know if they're in the same direction? It'll tell you. Or it'll say something like, Marjorie is lifting a bag of groceries. And you think, well, she's moving the groceries with a force that's up, and they are moving in an up distance. So then you know. If it says, Margie has a sack of groceries in her shopping cart and she pushes it along, then work is not done because she's, the force is still up, but she's moving in a different direction. Um, we won't get into this, but there is a way to calculate. Uh, you can use, you can, what it really is, is work equals force times the sine of angle theta then times the distance. What that, what that means is that sometimes, sometimes uh, force will be applied not exactly opposite the direction of the distance. Like they'll they'll be part of it that is the same, and so only the amount of force that's in the same direction as the distance applied. We'll talk about that in physics, though, and it involves trigonometry, which is why we don't do it now. Let's do a real quick uh, example of problem before we move on to power. Okay, so let's say let's do two of them. In fact, let's say uh, let's say I got this nice color brown. 
What should we draw that's brown? Colton is carrying Arby's oh, beef. Oh, okay, Colton's carrying Arby's beef. So Arby's beef. <laughs> Arby's beef <laughs> is lifted by Colton. Uh, 0 0.5 meters in the air with a force of uh, let's put 300 newtons. That's a lot of beef. Find work. Pretend I wrote find work. Okay, so what's the first step? First step is one. Um, um, no, see if they're in the same direction. Oh, yeah. See if they're in the same direction. So which way is he lifting the roast beef? Uh, up. Uh, uh, which way is it moving? Uh, up. So are they in the same direction? Yeah. Yeah. Now we go on to the first step, which is right which is right. Tell right. me what you're right though. Oh, uh, or um, W equals force uh, times a distance. Thank you. Now what's next? Uh, 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 check for manipulation because some of them will be. You have to find the force or something. Mm. But in this case, we don't need to manipulate. Okay, so then substitute. So tell me exactly what's right, Cyrus. Force is three newtons. Three hundred. Three hundred newtons, and then the distance is 0.5 meters. Okay, this is fairly simple math. Mathematically, the answer is. Fifty. One hundred and fifty newtons. My bad. One hundred fifty, and then you know scientifically it's newton times meters, so that's the same as a joule. Joule. Okay. Let's do another example. What can you do if you didn't get this example written down? Uh, read it. Write the next one down? No. We could. I mean, you well, should. Watch, watch the video. Watch the video. Watch the video. Watch the video. Or ask your friend, sure. But I mean, let's say uh, Leo is mowing the, the lawnmower is pushed. Let's say the lawnmower has a mass of, or has a weight of, has a weight of 510 newtons. Leo pushes it. You're a demon. Leo pushes it uh, 3.1 kilometers. That's a reasonable length. That's a fairly small yard, actually. What should we do first? Uh, check to see if they're in the same direction. Okay. And so, what direction is weight? Uh, down. Have a, weight is down. And which way is he pushing it? Uh, it doesn't really say. Which way is he pushing along? Which way is the person pushing along? You push the lawnmower down? No. no. So, so he's working work for done. no work done. So we write no work, work done. done. He is also, he is probably applying a force south or north or east or whatever, but that's not what was given. The force that was given was its weight, which is down. So we have to make sure that force and distance are in the same direction. Yep. Questions? No. I'm going to leave that down there so you can keep writing, and I'm going to erase this so that we can move on to power. So please write this, right? Power. Ah, power. So once again, just like in, just like work, in our daily use, we use power slightly differently than how we use power in science. So power is not necessarily, just like work, power is not necessarily the same. We, you might use power to be like, how much control you have over a person or a situation. But in science, it's strictly defined as uh, power equals work or energy over time. The word over here means, we all have to say things like, uh, I've done this over time. I've, I've started trimming my hair myself over time. But when, I mean, when I'm saying over, I mean it, both that, that's true. It is work or, or energy going over time, but it's also over mathematically time, because it's just P equals work over time, or P equals energy over time. Why can we use work or energy? What are they both measured in? Joules. joules. They're both measured in joules. You might be given an amount of energy. We talked before the video started about how uh, power is measured in watts, and we'll get to that in a second. Sorry, I spoke up. Power is measured in watts, and something like a light bulb has a certain ranking in power. It'll say something, this, these are what, these are LED, and so they might be like maybe five watt LED bulbs. And so that means they use five joules every second. So that's how much energy that goes into them every second. Work 
Are they applying a force over distance? No. no. But they are changing. That's what energy is. Remember, energy is the ability to do change. So let's write our equation. Uh, so P is what? Uh, power. power. Capital P. What was lowercase p? Do you remember? Uh, oh, that. Uh, uh, it didn't start with P. Momentum. 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 It was yeah. momentum. Capital P is power. We'll talk about what it's measured in in a second. W is work, work. work. measured in. Yeah, no. Joules. 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 Oh, yeah. T is, lowercase t is time. Time measured in seconds. Measured in seconds. Uh, by the way, what is its capital T? Capital T. Ah. We had talked about it just kind of briefly. Do you remember? Does anyone remember? Lowercase t is time. Capital T is tem Tor uh, temperature. 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 Good. It's actually not torque, Justice. Torque is um, the Greek letter tau. We have to have all these different letters so we keep things straight. Because some equations might have temperature and torque and time, so we have to have different T's. Anyway, and then the last thing is E. You won't have all of these in one equation, but I'm going to write it anyway. And E is energy, which is measured in joules. So whether you have this or this doesn't really matter. Okay, and then so if we have a joule divided by a second, that's power joule over second, which is equal to a capital W, which is a watt. Now, I can see you think it might be confusing to have capital W be work and capital W be watt. Why don't we just but watt is a but this is a unit, as yeah. I was going to say, and this is a what's the other thing? You remember? This is uh, a variable. This is a variable. Yeah. So you really, if you're doing it right, these shouldn't, these two shouldn't confuse you. Let's do, let's, let's do a simple one so that we can finish up easily. Um, uh, this will let's say that an electric fireplace, an electric fireplace consumes uh, consumes four thousand two hundred joules of energy over a period of. One minute. Right. Find its power consumption. Oh. Okay. What do we do first? Use you three in the same direction. Nope, that's only for work. Uh, power. Right. Uh, let's see. Uh, time is non-directional. I guess power probably would have a direction because work does. Um, for some reason, we don't really worry about it. Your book doesn't mention it, and I've never heard of anyone having a problem with it. Okay. I'll look into that for you, Cyrus. But anyway, right, what are, right they're all equation, which is in this case, uh, uh, P, P equals W. w mm, let's use E because this okay. is energy. It doesn't really matter. The math will turn out the same. But we're specifically talking about energy because it's a fireplace, not a um, not a physical movement of an object. Okay, next, manipulate. Uh, no. Not necessary. Sometimes you will. I guarantee this. This one especially, you will have to manipulate. But next step, substitute. substitute. So P equals four thousand two hundred joules. Four thousand two hundred joules over. One minute. Mm -mm, that's not going to work. Sixty seconds. Sixty seconds. For things like that, if it's exactly one minute, I don't mind if you don't show the conversion. If it said one point five minutes. I would insist that you show the conversion between minutes and seconds. But since we know that 60 seconds are in one minute, that's going to be okay. So then P equals, well, what's the answer? 4,200. Well, what's 42 divided by 6? 7. seven. So this is going to be 7D because it's another 0. Joules per second, which is equal to 70 watts. This is a very efficient electric fireplace. Um, by the way, do you know, does anyone know about uh, like the power you have into your house? Do you know how that's measured? Yeah. So you know about kilowatts. Your, the, the kilowatts would measure how much power is being used by your house. Well, the electric power provided by your house is actually measured in something called kilowatt hours. It's kilowatts times hour. So really, they're multiplying the time unit back out. So what are we ended up with? Energy. They just measure the energy they sell you. It just happens to be measured in kilowatt hours. Let me show you again. Which is Remember, so a, a watt is equal to a joule per second, right? This time unit's on the bottom. They, melt, they multiply that by hours. So it's really, these kind of, they, you can see seconds and hours don't actually drop out, but they're both time units. If we multiply this by 3600, they would. And so then we're really left with just joules. They measure it, they don't use joules because this is America. They use something called kilowatt hours. But it's, uh, but they're really just measuring the energy they sell you, not the power. America. America. Questions? America. Questions? You know, America. Okay. Oh, I'm going to put this on video. I normally don't, but since Sion's gone, then she might be watching this. Your assignment is page 
131, 1 through 7. Page 131, page 131, 1 through 7 is due tomorrow, Wednesday, November 3rd.